If you want to become a better leader of tomorrow, please subscribe Rajmani Clips channel because here we get you the most insightful clips on leadership. How can India use AI to strengthen its defense? And what are going to be in the best case scenario what would Indian army look like if we use everything that is possible through AI and what are going to be the disadvantages of it? Yeah. So if you take India as generally as a country I think we have some incredible advantages we have one of the largest armies in the world by the way uh, I think uh, now the Chinese army actually shrinking last couple of years we may soon be the largest army in the world too so we have a large army and we have a pretty impressive defense uh, defense force overall where we are struggling in our defense is that it's very human based and not enough technology based the shift between human to technology is not happened in a, at a significant way so i think if i were the indian government i was thinking about how to create a defense forces in a way to be ready for the ai revolution i would first pivot my investment from humans to tech much stronger investments in 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 weapons and tech mm. especially cyber security it's completely driven by ai or if you look at even traditional warfare one ethical issue in defense is the use of ai to actually do killing etc right so this is a if you start using ai to fight wars and do create these deadly weapons i think that's one of the areas which it has huge ethical issues there are multiple countries and multiple people in the world who have signed letters pledges to say that we should all come together like nuclear non proliferation treaty we should say nuclear no, non proliferation of ai we weapons killer ai weapons so that is so i will leave that aside as a judgment or call for india mm -hmm. to make that so 2017 i was part of ai task force in defense so government of india constituted an ai task force in defense mm. and i was part of that uh, academics plus uh, in the all the military branches and uh, some com some co you know companies leading companies in ai were part of this this initiative and back then we had made a bunch of recommendations so government has actually acted on some of them though th that report has not been released uh, but i would say that pick this human to to Ignology. tech tech uh, and then within tech i think intelligence like the whole army navy air force etc completely rely on intelligence the strength of the intelligence is very important you're picking up for example communication from your enemies your ability to process that information uh, decode that information and then use it to decision making is vital you have access to satellite images and images in things like that your ability to digest all the information and figure out uh, what is going on and what could be some issues is very important so your entire defense has to move largely to in, uh, impacting first of all to technology and then to impacting your intelligence and then how you intelligence uh, use intelligence to make decisions and what weapons do you have what intelligence do you have embedded in the weapons that you have and coming short of using ai mm. to uh, kill drones i'm which which mm -hmm. i think we already spoke about as not is a topic that is, has ethical issues but even without getting there there's a lot to be done in terms of gathering intelligence making decisions and building more tech more intelligent technology defense technology in in everything whether it's, it's the planes that we fly the missions that we do or the the tanks that we have or the drones that we use to collect intelligence you seen in the ukraine russia war that uh, drones have played a very important yeah. role they they have been a lot of uh, civilian drones and simple drones have been used to collect intelligence and ukraine has done an incredible job of using their intelligence to actually defend itself in the first few months of the war so drones are going to be very important uh in this entire battle too so drones drone intelligence um, other machines and intelligence decision making and intelligence and in signals intelligence as well do you feel that uh, in few years from now we'll have robot army than the human army do you think that is possible because you know how they show it in movies where they have your entire army which is robotic and then it's built and run by just commands and yeah. computer keys and then there's like a whole army i remember there was a movie called i robot or something i don't know where there were like white robots the thousands of robots just yes. standing with guns and these are just machines yeah and they go on a war instead of humans so that a lot of human lives can save how far do you feel that is from so the robotic armies a are maybe a some distance away but not too far but before that humans with robotic uh, equipment mm. right are already very powerful think of like iron man uh, an example of that is what the us government has done with microsoft microsoft has sold 21 billion dollars of equipment with the hololens 
the hollow lens are those virtual reality lenses which basically makes this human being who's on in the battlefront much more powerful because he is getting all this intelligence from them and making helping them make decisions and they're able to see and tactically make you know sort of figure out what is going on so with access to the cloud all the intelligence instructions everything it's it's a very different kind of warfare with human beings already having this augmented intelligence in in human beings then obviously you can also have these killer robots etc they are right now more i would say as in the experimental stage uh, boston robotics is probably doing the best work in creating those kinds of dogs and human beings who can do those yeah. things but my sense is that they are not yet battle ready uh, the big battle also shifting to cyber security i should say mm. that one of the big ways in which you can inflict damage or or others can inflict damage on you is by shutting off several parts of your infrastructure just by running ransomware malware uh, you know those kinds of things so that will be the ba big battle front as well for uh, all defense Online. around the world is to make sure that you can quickly dam do enough damage that you can you can uh, you can get the tactical advantage in the war that is that is true kyuki i think we all are somewhere influenced by just the devices in our hands and one random virus or one random bug can really change our financial status our mindset our psychology our beliefs and that could cause a bigger war than anything else our privacy our data the country data all of that can be like really compromised if cyber cyber attack or like i don't know cyber defense army is not strong thank you so much for watching this clip till the end please subscribe to rachmani clips channel to become a better leader for tomorrow